Guys, hey, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're building a really awesome system. Take a peek at it, let me know what you think. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that like button. If you like what you see even more, hit that sub button. And we'll see you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over at twitch.tv slash stints, where we build these PCs you see right here live at 10 a.m. Eastern, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at twitch.tv slash stints. See you soon. Good morning. A little G Fuel action this morning. Boom. Get me started. Give me a little energy. Whatever focuses. Come on, Sony. There it is. Boom. Rainbow Sherbet. Guys, I'm excited today. Got a new builder. I don't think you can see him back there. We got Roddy. Roddy's here. He might, there he is. There's Roddy. Roddy's in the house. So we're growing, guys. We are growing. Can we get some heights in the chat? Uh, Roddy's going to start building. Kind of like Schmo started and just, just get back accustomed to it. He's built before. He built plenty of PCs before. Uh, and we're just really, really excited. All right, so let's get into today's build. We got lots of stuff going on. A lot of things that are coming. Um, obviously, right here, that's a big thing. Uh, we are darn close to giving that away. So today's build, uh, we've got a Ryzen, uh, Ryzen 7 3700X. We've got the Deep Cool Castle 240EX CPU liquid cooler. We're putting this all on the beautiful Ace Rock Phantom B550 gaming board, built in Wi-Fi, built in Bluetooth. Uh, we got 3200, mega, uh, 3200 megahertz of silicone power X turbine. That's RGB, beautiful RGB RAM. Um, silicone power make really good NVMEs, and uh, they started recently making RAM. I think they partnered. Um, they partnered actually with uh, Samsung, just like uh, what Team did. It was really good stuff. So we got the uh, we got that 32 megahertz RAM, 16 gigabytes of RAM. We got RTX 3070, the XT Ultra from EVGA. That's going in the system as well. We got a one terabyte Western Digital SN 550 Blue. Um, that's a beautiful hard drive. It's the same hard drive we have right here, our own system. Uh, our own system at home. Really good for, for the permits are a performance level. So Western Digital has like three categories, three tiers of pretty much consumer consumers would buy. Uh, the first one is their, their green. And I make fun of this. I have a really good friend who goes, the way he uses a, a WD green, it's a WD green. He's got the WD green and then you have the blue, which is the performance middle line, which is good performance. And they got the black, which is like the SN750. Um, so we have the blue in here. It's just a good middle road, fantastic NVMe drive. Uh, we got the Fantex P360A. You know, it's one of our favorite cases. We're building in that. Uh, we have a 750 watt uh, seven modular power supply from Montech. That's a Montech and Gamma. Uh, we have a two uh, two ARG front fans, which are the metallic gear. Oh, sorry, the uh, Fantex. Uh, um, Skrillam, I think that's how they pronounce them. They're really good at our RGB fans. And then we have in the background to throw in one of the black PWM fans from the Gamer Storm from the Deep Cool Cooler to get some airflow in there. So beautiful build. It looks sharp, going to be clean, and it comes in all around ships, which are right around two grand. So it's a really good system. I say budget, but if you're getting a 3070, you're getting an eight core CPU, good RAM, good speed, everything is it's just love it so i'm excited to build this one today that's gonna look sharp it's gonna look really clean uh not too much rgb but you know gotta have a little bit you know have a little bit so uh i'm excited we have a like so we have a beauty today um this is honestly probably uh, if you're gonna get in the gaming and streaming and you want something a good level uh the 3700x and the 3070 is a really good combo i mean you could actually go either way you could go with a 10 center k or a little bit better a little bit better higher fps uh, but you will spend a couple hundred dollars more typically in that system um the motherboards and then the, obviously the processor you're spending about about a hundred dollars more almost for the motherboard with a good built-in wi-fi you could do a wi-fi card but for a good board everything built in you're looking at about 220 dollars well this is a really good board that comes in around 130 dollars and obviously the 10 k over the 3070 is uh it's a pretty similar price um but so you're looking at 100 150 dollars more this is at the top tier of their budget for the customer so this is a really good bang for buck system um, I'm really excited to build it for you. Without further ado, let's start building this beautiful system. It's one of my favorite budget um, motherboards. The Phantom Gaming uh, series doesn't get the credit it deserves. Um, as long as you're not doing any super really high end like i900Ks on both the Intel and uh, AMD platform, it's a really good bang for buck, bang for buck board. Um, so I highly recommend it. Definitely worth looking at. Um, if you're strapped on cash or want a good board, a good performance, not super flashy, just overall, I highly recommend it. My good friend Sins, we shipped his PC out on Friday. He's supposed to get there either today or on Saturday, so I wasn't sure if he was in here. I've not heard back from him yet.
I really, I really like these V Cool, especially on uh, Ryzen because they install really easy. I'll show you here in just a second why I like them. Why I think it's really easy. We typically, uh, when we when talk about graph, uh, GPUs, we typically use uh, MSI, EVGA, um, MSI, EVGA, Asus. Those are probably the three that we use the most. Um, love the Tufts, the Duels aren't too bad. Uh, the Gaming X's, I think probably our favorite three are well, probably the Tufts, the Gaming X, and then probably the XC Ultras. In terms of like just pro like price or performance, it's probably our favorite three. The reason about this cooler, like these deep cool coolers when it comes to AMD, is they actually retain the factory backplate. So when it comes to installation timelines, they're pretty quick. Um, like right now, we're removing this, the brackets that we use for the, third, the uh, AMD Wraith RGB cooler. And then all we have to do is really take the pre-threaded screws and install them right into the backplate. So in terms of like turnaround time and installing this on an AMD system, it's pretty quick. Nice little feature to have. There it is. There's our, there's our standoff for the cooler. Already installed, ready to go. A little bit of glare on it because it's directly in the light, but hopefully you can see that better maybe right there. There you go. That's our that's our motherboard ready to go. That's why AMD, sometimes AMD can be a little bit fat, a little bit cheaper when it comes to the price point for what we what we charge. Uh even a little cheaper sometimes. Um but ready to pull the case out, get the case going. So for this today we're gonna use the um P360A from Fantex. As you guys know, it's one of our favorite one of our favorite cases. All right, let's put this motherboard in here. It was got a lot after stream today. I'll be sending some quotes. I have to look at potentially tra like a travel a travel arrangements. Um, we're looking at potentially doing a uh, potentially doing a build for KCP uh, KCP at uh, Lakers. You guys know who he is. His agent reached out to me about doing a build for him. So uh, we'll see. Uh, not only is it a build, it'd be a white glove installation. It'd be me going up there and setting up all of his, his computer, setting up a stream setup and everything like that. So a uh, really cool opportunity. I think we may try and take advantage of. It's just looking at the full travel arrangements. All right, we're gonna start screwing in this motherboard. This is a very flashy board. It just performs really, really well. So um, that's why we chose it. I mean, this, like, this board uh, offers a lot for the price. Um, and we use it on 3600, 3700X. I wouldn't really go five series with it. It's definitely a good three, a three thousand series board, two thousand series. Anything five, I would go for towards the uh, like probably like gaming edge. So now we're gonna install the front radiator to the front existing fans. Is that behind me? That's that's Roddy. Roddy's your new builder. Yep. Roddy be in the morning building in the mornings. Yep. Let's get Let's ready, get to, ready build. to build. Roddy is also Mr. Obsolete, so drop him a follow too. He'll be streaming as well. Uh, on his channel starting again on the 19th, which is what's that Friday? Well, I might have multiple hats here at the company soon. Hopefully if everything works well, he can do some quoting, a little customer service, a little tech support. Uh, kind of installs AIO. The great thing about the, 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 being on the AMD board, we can go vertical. So you guys can see the top down when we install this. I'll show you how we're going to install it here because we're going to go above and around the cooler. So we're going to go this and this application is how we're going to do it like this. Looks really good, looks really sharp. All right, there's that, there's that. All right, time to plug in the power supply. <clears throat> we did some pretty good, we did some about an hour. This is pretty much done. You try to put the thickness in, RTX thickness. The rear fan in, run the power, the cables for the uh, the GPU. Oh, I said she wants some one of a thickness, so I got her a 3090, she slapped me. So I'm not, that's not, I'm not sure what I did wrong. <laughs> Love the dad jokes. Oh, oh baby, what time it is, guys? Do you know what time it is? Yeah, I was having the thickness. It's thick this time. We're almost done. Here we go. There we go. There we're in.
I tore the cables on this beautiful bad boy. I'm really ready to turn her on. I'm excited for the, the light show. I know they are. Alright guys, there she is. Looking sharp and clean. Put those back panel on. You know what time it is. Mm -mm -mm. Time to light her up. There we go, there she is. Get some thick and hype emotes in the chat. How about that? Come on. Yeah, it's dedicated power cable rip. I have one dedicated right here. Guys, thanks for another awesome video. Thank you for stopping and showing us the love here on our YouTube channel. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that like button. If you like what you see even more, hit that sub button. And remember, we build these PCs you see live here on our YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday now over at twitch.tv slash stints. Come over, say hello, watch us build the PC, and ask any questions you have, and let's go.